basically this is our question which we have been given for our workshop task where we have to calculate the limits for this question however in this question we have to use a Hopital's rule so basically if there is a limit and we get an answer in the form of 0 on 0 or infinity on infinity we say the limit is in the form of an inter indeterminate form sometimes we can use algebraic manipulation however other cases we have to use L. Hopital's rule also known as hot potato rule. But yeah, anyway. Basically, for a limit where x tends towards a, f of x on g of x, if this limit equals 0 on 0, or a minus or positive infinity on minus or positive infinity, then the limit of x tending towards a, or f of x on g of x, is equal to the limit of x tending towards a of the derivative of both the f of x function and the g of x function, which is equal to L to help us solve the question. Okay, I'm Isaac. Um, so here we have the start of the question. We've got the limit as x approaches infinity of x minus 2 over x plus 2 all to the power of x. Now to start off, we've got it in a form we really don't like. It's infinity on infinity to the power of infinity. No good, we can't really do anything with that. So we go and make it the limit of, as x approaches infinity, of e to the power of natural logarithm of that whole thing because since it's e to the power of a log, it's just going to cancel itself out. It's the exact same thing, just in a different format. So, we can take the x down out front of the logarithm. That's just a rule that everyone knows, Well, we should know because we're doing engineering. But then from there, we can just consider the index as a separate thing because the e, that's not really going to do anything. This is the only part with x's in it, so it's the only part that's going to actually change. So, we just look at the index, x ln of x minus 2 over x plus 2, that's in the form of like infinity times 0. This is ln of infinity on infinity, it's really, really infinitely close to 1, so, um, and ln 1 is 0, so it's basically infinity times 0. So we still can't use Hopdill's rule or anything. So then we come down here and we take that x and we put it on the bottom just by inverting the index. And then, from there, we can just kind of express this 1 on x. And now... We're Zero. We have it in the form of zero of zero, and we can use the hot potato rule, also known as Lobdell's rule. So, yeah. All right, my name is Maxwell Lewis Bannister. Just wanting to tell you where you're going to need to use the differentiate. We're going to need to differentiate uh, this equation here using the hot potato rule. So first, we'll use f of x of this, um, which is equal to this, uh, ln x minus two x plus two. So we differentiate it is equal to this times by this, then we follow through, cancel stuff out, eventually equals 4 on x squared minus 4. So then we, uh, f of g, uh, g of x is equal to this, a 1 on x. We just simple differentiation is negative 1 on x squared. Uh, from differentiating the f of x and g of x, we get to limit of x goes to infinity of minus 4 on x squared over x squared minus 4, and dividing through by x squared, and subbing in the limits here, we get to, this is past 0, so we get minus 4, and because this is the index that we've worked out from up here, we get to e to the minus 4, which is equal to 1 and e to the 4.